Hello everyone, this is our, uh, our article that we've been working on. Uh, the name of the article is Push Button Spreadsheet, written by Stephanie M. Bryan and also Michelle Martinez. Uh, this article was found in Journal of Accountancy, September 2002. And uh, my name is Cle Pilea and I'm Kiralich. And some of the key concepts that we'll be reviewing or going over in this tutorial uh, the main advantage to using this uh, push button spreadsheet is to be able to perform repetitive tasks with one mouse click. Um, you'll be able to save lots of time. We'll be teaching you how, how to use the VLOOKUP formula and also how to record macros. Okay, so here are the, uh, the example that the article used. And so, uh, uh, first of all, uh, we wanted to create a main, main, uh, main menu. So to do that, we just um, highlight it, and we go to uh, border, which where we can uh, choose border. Let's say so we can choose border, uh, and also we can fill it with any color. We choose blue, and uh, and then uh, we wanted to you know insert some uh, text, so we go to insert, and then we use the word art. Um, um, the word art and so we also uh, um, created some uh, you know uh, macro uh, which you can see right here we have this uh, this button right here we already create macro to do that we when they go ahead and say developer and go record macro um, and after we record macro and then we uh, assign this as a, as a right click right here um, and so anyway, so we re so we create this button, and so uh, let's say if uh, a customer, uh, you know, I wanted to make a, a customer inquiry form, I just press on this uh, button, and it will take me uh, to this uh, page, and um, Kit will talk about the rest. Okay, now what we've done is we've created a customer inquiry form. Same exact way as Kleppi mentioned how we created the main menu, selected the cells you want, changed the fill color to blue, inserted a word art title. And now we've gone through and just like the example in the Journal of Accounts you did, we created you know little boxes for the name, address, etc. for the customer information. And we also created a few little totals here on the side, you know, the base price, subtotal, add in options, you know. And this is all to where it calculates. What we've done, let's see, the base price could be let's see, thirty thousand push enter that comes up automatically calculates that in for you if you want to enter a down payment it could be let's see down payment of four thousand dollars hit enter totals that loan years let's say it's seven push enter and the interest rate could be let's see six percent push enter so that gives me a monthly payment and you go in here before you did all that you know you'd go in here and enter customer information just like that and then it'd go on to the next and you fill that out and then so that's the customer inquiry form what we did to make this even cooler is uh, we've added the uh, little macro buttons here on the bottom and just like Kleppi said it's the same thing developer we clicked insert drew the little button out renamed it to what we wanted to we clicked the record macro named the macro we wanted to create the shortcuts and what we did when we were creating the print macro for example we just clicked on the home key after when it was recording clicked on print printed it out and then when we're done printing, we stop the macro. And so let me just show you how that works. So then we assign it to the button afterwards. Now when you click on print, it prints automatically for you. And then we've done the same thing with the clear all. Uh, as we were recording that macro, we just went and deleted all the scores that we needed to get deleted and then stopped recording. And so now every time you hit clear all, it automatically clears all the information out for you. So if you have a new customer, you just go and add that in. We've also, we've also done a return to main menu macro, so that goes to that. The way we did that is the same exact way, insert a, a push button, recorded the macro, and as the macro is recording, we hit, clicked on main menu and stopped recording, and then assigned it to this particular button, so it goes back and forth. And now, uh, let's see, what we're going to show you now is also we've created a lender rates chart. And the same exact thing applies. Uh, so highlighted the cells you wanted, created a blue background, inserted a title. 
And we've just used the same information that we found in the Journal of Accountancy article, which includes the, uh, the credit score, lender name, interest rates, uh, various uh, lenders. And what we did, because we're going to be using this table later on in the VLOOKUP formula to calculate uh, compatible lenders, we went and highlighted this and labeled that lender, uh, this whole table in the name box, we labeled it lender rate. Let me just show you. And now what we use this information for here is we have our lenders form tab here on the bottom we've created. Just scroll up to the top. And what this is, the same exact thing applies. And you, uh, the, the employee would enter the customer credit score. Let's say he scored maybe uh, 650 on his credit. Push enter. And we use the VV lookup form that automatically pulled what lenders would have available interest rates. So it pulled from our lender rates table onto the lender's form. The way we did that is we used the v, v lookup formula on each of these little lines here for the lender name and for the interest rate. So the VLOOKUP name, we use that, type that in VLOOKUP, parentheses, score, which is we're look, you know, using this number to identify, and then comma, and we used our table here, lender rates, to, to generate, the, to pull from that information, comma, and the lender name for this first particular one, that was found in column two right here. And then so we do the same thing for the interest rate, same same exact uh, formula, VLOOKUP, SCORE, which is this box here, comma, lender rate, which is the table on the lender rates form, or the lender rates uh, spreadsheet. And then we, the only thing we did change is we changed it to column three, because the interest rate for lender name ABC is in column three right there. And so you just do that same way, same format to the, each of the following lines, except you change the column. The column name for triple X lender would be in column four. The interest rate for that would be in column five. So right here you just change it to five and so on. So this would be uh, six, seven, eight, nine. And the reason why these are zero is because there's no available uh, lender other than these two if you have a credit score of 650, just to show that. Let's see, you have to have a score of 651 or better to qualify for Z, or 701 or better to qualify for, for Q. And so that's that. And on the bottom, we've also inserted uh, uh, the little uh, macro buttons for the print and the return domain menu. It's the same exact way that we've assigned them to the other macros in the other spreadsheets. Okay, so uh, we also uh, um, input this information. This information was given in the exam one so what we did we uh, go ahead and did, did the same thing highlight the cell color border and uh, also we created this uh, table and so uh, this table is very important because we're gonna use it in a VLOOKUP so what we did we highlighted the table and as you can see we name it common rates and so because we're gonna use it uh, in the V formula and so if I go right here this is the uh, uh, v formula um, v lookup formula sorry and so if I say if I if I type uh, 599 and so it automatically um, calculated for me and so if you look at the formula we say v lookup you say f15 the price and the com rate which is which is the table right here um, and we wanted the information from row two which is we just want the rate and so uh, it's give us uh, this uh, this um, answer and so if you wanted to print it we just hit print and we actually print it to us and you know if you when you're done if you want to return to the main menu you just hit right here and then you play to the main menu and uh, last of all uh, kit will explain to you how did we lock this information Okay, now to uh, protect your sheet and lock it down so you don't mess up with your uh, spreadsheets, you just simply go to the Home tab, you go Format Cell. Ours is already locked, so let's unprotect this really quick. Uh, let's see, so you have this, and what you want to do is you go to Format, Format Cells, you go to the Protection tab, you click Locked, click OK, and you go back to Format, you go Protect Sheet, and you create a password. You're going to enter it again, and now the sheet's protected where no one else can mess with it and that is it.